Yeah, I, I think it's uh, a great initiative. Uh, of course, uh, we, we've been having this summit for a long time, uh, but uh, in the present scenario where uh, we have, uh, you know, a situation coming out of recession and, uh, you know, the, uh, the whole market, uh, you know, having its ups and downs, uh, it's pretty interesting that uh, there are state governments who are actually supporting this. At a larger level, uh, you know, positioning India again uh, into the global market uh, with uh, the whole offering of uh, outsourcing, co-production, as well as uh, original content creation. And I think that's something which is uh, the center theme and uh, the good emphasis on creating comics, uh, which is one of the forms of storytelling which has uh, got neglected for a long period of time. So this uh, whole uh, summit focus and uh, a large amount of uh, you know countries participating in terms of uh, their offerings uh, for this industry uh, is truly an eye opener and uh, that's uh, something that you know uh, not only the studios but also the the policy makers uh, should look at and i think in such forums when uh, you actually get to learn uh, more about how they have formed a policy and how they are supporting the industry uh, it kind of uh, works uh, very strongly uh, uh, in, in multiple level understanding of uh, how the co-production treaties can be done and how one could support uh, uh, the industry which we neglected for a long period of time. Well, in terms of uh, you know the talent and their preparedness to uh, deliver international uh, quality uh, products in terms of uh, television series, feature films, and in terms of visual effects uh, for the best of the films in the world uh, is already, already proven. We have a very solid uh, track record of delivery. Uh, the thing is that people who came for quality to India uh, for the last 10 years continue to come for quality. Uh, we see a little bit of uh, issue when it comes to uh, some of the co-productions in the absence of uh, tax credits or uh, co-production treaties or the subsidies uh, which we don't have at this point in time. And also, uh, in terms of uh, uh, the restriction on channels to show domestic content or content produced in India, uh, in absence of uh, these critical things in the policy, uh, there is a little tough time for the studios, but uh, uh, irrespective of that, the, the studios have continued with production of uh, great content and uh, found their ways and means of uh, distributing it in India and overseas uh, at the same time. The critical emphasis has to be given on, uh, you know, the, uh, the long-term education. Uh, when I say long-term education, uh, uh, people actually uh, look at uh, animation, visual effects and comics uh, and the gaming more as a vocational uh, education. And, uh, you know, many people do it for the hobby purpose and many people do it at a short-term vocational program. Uh, the primary reason is that uh, the creative, artistic and performing skills don't uh, find its place in the school curriculum. And that's one of the reasons, because there are no marks, people don't tend to take it seriously there. But uh, knowing that this uh, industry offers uh, something which is very, very, uh, you know, uh, result-oriented in terms of uh, making your career and forming uh, your uh, kind of a base in uh, doing what you really like and tell stories to the world in different form. Uh, we need to encourage universities and many other uh, people to really uh, have long-term degree programs, which has happened in the last four years, uh, but uh, finding the right faculty uh, to really make sure that the offering is great. And that's one of the reasons the Karnataka uh, you know, AVGC policy, uh, having an emphasis on train the trainers, which is going to start next month, uh, would be uh, a landmark step uh, in uh, putting forward uh, the right kind of talent uh, pool, uh, getting trained to the right uh, trainers in, the, in place. And to really empower that with uh, the kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, the operating standards for the industry uh, at uh, Media and Entertainment Skills Council out of FICI and uh, National Skills Development Council, 
we have set up the national operating standards for animation, gaming, visual effects, comics and filmmaking. So we have so far uh, did about uh, 87 job profiles and uh, defined uh, operating standards uh, for these, which will be the India's national uh, operating standards. And uh, to follow these uh, at the education level uh, by the faculty members, by the students, by the educational institutions, and also by uh, the production studios for uh, hiring as well as uh, uh, for uh, making it as a standard for uh, giving uh, salaries and uh, compensation to the skills that are uh, being offered by these uh, people is going to be uh, something that uh, you know which uh, which will be standard whole of uh, uh, in whole of the country and people have some benchmarks to follow so what we need to really do is to make uh, our education more skill based than uh, a degree or a diploma or a certificate base. Uh, so that's I think uh, is going to be the key uh, with one of these things. Uh, second uh, important thing that is going to uh, have is that positioning or repositioning India into all these areas is something which is going to be uh, of a vital factor because uh, uh, you know, when your policies are weak, yeah. if your positioning is strong, uh, you will still continue to do business. And uh, I think that's, uh, I, I see as a major role that uh, Karnataka is playing as a leader. Uh, and the first in the market is always uh, remembered. And they play a leading role. And that's what uh, is going to benefit whole of India. See, one, one thing is that when you have people from multiple countries, uh, they also get a message that we, are not lagging behind in terms of uh, educating and empowering our skills. Uh, second thing is uh, that reaching out to uh, the rural based uh, talent pool uh, in developing their skills and giving them confidence that one could uh, have their living by uh, getting into the skills, you know. And that's a very, very big thing. And I think that's something which is going to be helping us uh, reach out through these summits. Uh, to the people who probably might not think of making this as a career and uh, uh, who would respect the skills to uh, make a career. So it's not only the accounting skills or the legal skills or the engineering skills or the medical skills that's going to be helpful. It, even these skills can make you uh, build a good career. These summits uh, would open doors for many of these thought-provoking ideas to uh, go to many stakeholders who would that then start thinking uh, in making a creative career. Well, Little Krishna is my favorite character and Chodabhim is of course uh, uh, mine favorite and I think the country loves it. Yeah, and I think uh, these are the few case studies that India has built in the last, uh, short period of time. And uh, I think we, we still have a story to tell and a bigger story to tell. Mm -hmm.